watching my channel and welcome back to day seven of Caitlin's seven days of Christmas. I can't believe we're on day seven already. That was the quickest week of my life, but I'm so glad I did it. So thank you so much to everyone who watched and it's definitely got me back into the swing of YouTube, back into filming, back into editing. So I'm definitely ready for 2018 and get back to normal scheduling every week and hopefully even up my videos to more. And now that I see that I can do seven in a row, I know that I can at least do one or two a week. So yeah, here's hoping. But today I'm gonna to be finishing off the week with a haul. Yesterday I went shopping and I actually fly home to Ireland today. So hence why I look a bit crazy because I've been running around all morning getting things ready. Um, but I went last minute Christmas shopping yesterday with David and I picked up some bits. So I said I'd finish off the week with a fashion haul. Um, I got a, a good few bits for going home and things like that. A mixture of daytime and nighttime. So I said I'd show you. I got stuff in Zara, H&M, and just a few random other places down in Soho. So without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, the first shop I went to was this shop called Necessary Clothing. It's like this really random shop down in Soho. But you'd find like really nice gyms inside there. Like sometimes you'll go in and it'll be absolutely cat. There'll be nothing in there that you like. Um, and the quality is not amazing. But then there is some days you'll go in and you'll find really, really nice bits. So the first thing I picked up was this dress. Now it looks really bad off the hanger. But it's just this glittery off the shoulder dress. And I just thought that it'd be really handy for some night over Christmas. It was super inexpensive. It was only $30. So if it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. But yeah, I tried it on really quickly and it looked like it had potential. So hopefully it'll work out. Um, and yeah, I think it would be really nice when it's accessorized and with the right heels and you know the right makeup and things like that so yeah that's the first thing i picked up the next thing i picked up in necessary clothing as well is something i'm very very excited about because i've been on the hunt for them for ages and it's these leather overalls it's really hard to show you now on camera but they're just leather dungarees they have the normal dungaree straps and they're kind of a skinny leg so it's kind of like a skinny jean that goes into overalls and yeah, I'm a sucker for these. I love wearing them. I just think they're so, so handy with a nice polo neck inside it or any nice top that you have. And um, yeah, I just love styling them and I think they're very cool and effortless looking. And they were $35, so another bargain. The next shop I went to was H&M and they had a really good sale on. I don't know why, um, I don't know why all these shops are doing all the sales coming up to Christmas. I thought it was usually after, but anyway, I'm not complaining because I picked up some serious bargains. The first one being this knit, which I got for $15. This gorgeous camel knit with a lovely like polo neck top to it. And it's really nice material, like it's thick. It feels like it'd be very warm. And yeah, it's lovely and soft. I just couldn't believe this was only 15. I think it was down from like 40 or 50. Um, so yeah, that was a really good bargain. It was only left in size large, but I think I'll make it work. I'll just tuck it into jeans or something. I just think it'll be nice and handy for Christmas, the days where you're kind of just doing nothing and want to be cozy. And the other bargain I got in there is actually gonna be very hard to show you because it's humongous, but it's this like cord jacket. It looks absolutely terrible off the hanger now. When I showed it to David, he was like, oh my God, put that away. But when I tried it on, it looked really cool. It's like this oversized cord and fur jacket. I just think it's the coziest thing in the world. And I know I'm gonna get a good bit of wear out of this. I'm gonna bring it home with me, even though it's probably gonna take up half my case. But I just love it. I love the oversized look with like a skinny pair of jeans and a polo neck. And yeah, I just think it's cool. And that was another bargain. That was only $30. I could not believe it. I had to get it. The next shop I went to was Topshop and I got myself some new jeans. I love the mom jeans in there so I picked up a new pair because my other pair were kind of gone old and I just got the normal kind of light wash. I hope I, I hope you can see that okay. Um, but yeah these are just the normal mom light wash jeans and yeah I get so much wear out of these. I had the Baxter ones previous to this um, but I do have a few mom pairs as well and I just think they're the handiest thing in the world. I love the look they give very like kind of off duty, effortless um, and with boots and a nice polo, I just think that's my ideal outfit. So yeah, I picked them up and they were $70. And the last shop I went to was Zara and I picked up a few bits there. So first I picked up this kind of um, tweedy slip dress. It's just one of those dresses you wear like, you can wear it on its own or you can wear it over a jumper. My plan for this is to kind of wear it over maybe like a polo neck for Christmas day or something like that. And it has this really nice back detail. These like jewels on the back, which I thought was quite nice. They're like flowery diamantes on the back. Yeah, I just thought this was cute. It has some lace detail as well on the side. And I just love these kind of outfits as well. So to pair this with like a jumper and tights and boots and off you go, I just think it'll be lovely. And even with a beret as well, I think it'll be lovely. And that was $39.90 and I got it in a size small. Next thing I picked up, I'm not too sure about because I didn't try it on, but hopefully it'll be okay. And it's this 
burgundy velvet dress. It looks quite open at the front, but I think I'll be able to like pin it with something. But I just thought this would be so, so handy for a night out during Christmas or even a dinner or something like that. You know, you could wear without tights or with tights because it's kind of long. It's not too short. And yeah, I just think it'll be nice. It has a little belt as well. It's hard to see it off the hanger now, but I think it will be lovely. And it was only $40. So definitely keep an eye out on my Instagram over Christmas and you'll see how I style it and maybe you could pick it up too. And I got that in a size small as well. And last but not least, I got a coat in Zara. This was kind of more of a need rather than a want. Um, I really needed a new grey coat, so I got this one. It's, it's just a nice straight A-line grey coat. Um, and yeah, I just thought it was nice. I like the masculine look with the, the big shoulders. I love these kind of coats, like even with like my mom jeans and a black polo neck. I just love that kind of look with black boots as well. And I know I'm going to get so much wear out of this. And this was $119, which I think is kind of good for something that lasts me for a few years. And I got that in a size small as well. It is a little bit oversized. I'm not sure if I could have gone down to the extra small, but I got it in the small anyway, just in case there were any big jumpers in, under it or anything like that. So yeah, that's it. And I've just like rolled up the sleeve there as well, but you can leave those down. And yeah, I just loved the look of that. And that is it guys, that's all I got. I've ordered a good bit online as well though to be delivered to Ireland. I've ordered from a few different places. So when I get home, if they're there, I'll try and film another haul and put that live maybe next week. Um, as I said, we fly home today, so my next video will be from Ireland, which I'm very excited about. I just can't believe it's Christmas already and we're going home, but I'm so, so excited to see everyone and to eat all the Irish food in the world. So I just want to say a huge thank you to everyone who's watched Killing Seven Days of Christmas. I'm, as I said, I'm so glad I did this and it's been great and I've really appreciated all your comments and messages. So thank you again. And I will be picking one person who's commented throughout the week and giving them a prize during Christmas. So definitely keep an eye out. I'll be writing to you in the next few days and asking for your address and things like that. So yeah, as usual, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel as well if you're new um, or if you'd like to see more. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.